when the protests started to get violent, we like diverged. One group went one way, another group went another. The peaceful protest went down towards West Burnside. And the rioters continued in the Pearl District, lighting things on fire, breaking bank windows. And that was never what Portland's resistance movement has been about, ever. You didn't vandalize anything? No, none of us, none of us vandalized anything. We were the ones at the front of the peaceful protest. We were the ones linking arms the entire night. We were the ones that were peace signs in the air saying peaceful protest in response to the no justice, no peace calls. Um, we were trying to create a safe space for people to express the things that they needed to express in a safe way. Can you talk a little bit, so, do you feel like you've been unfairly tagged by the public as an anarchist or a vandal? Um, absolutely, but I think that there's a, a loose meaning to the word anarchy and even anarchists don't know what it means. So when that word is used, there's such a stigma attached to it that, you know, with the riots that were going on, having the word anarchist attached to your mugshot is a dangerous thing. And when that information was being circulated, most of us lost our jobs. We've been targeted as terrorists. Right-wing extremists have literally targeted our social media accounts. Um, we had to deactivate our Facebooks, our Instagrams. The women specifically have been targeted. I've personally received death threats. I can't work anymore. Um, I've been hiding out at home. My home was broken into last night while my roommates and I were in it. 